Hello friends, it's Crystal here. Welcome back to my channel. It's finally spring here at the cottage and all of the plants and trees are in full bloom and looking gorgeous. Spring is one of my favorite seasons because it displays God's miraculous power to bring forth life and beauty after a cold and barren season. I absolutely love decorating my home for spring with all things that speak light and life, and I'm so excited to show you that today in my spring home tour here at Cottle Cottage. We're going to start out in my entryway. As you can see, I've already hung up my spring wreath that I created last year. You can find a video on how I made this wreath in uh, some of my previous YouTube videos if you'd like to check that out for yourself. And I always start out by decorating the hall tree here in my entryway that my children got me a few years ago for Mother's Day. I created this cute little basket using all of the florals and that cute little bunny and eggs all from Hobby Lobby and I actually purchased that basket from Goodwill. Here on my little French farmhouse door that leads into our coat closet, I love hanging my wicker purse and just filling it with hydrangeas and just flowers that flow. Also on the door, I like displaying these cute little bunnies and eggs for spring. Bunnies and eggs and blooms, they all just speak life to me. So I don't necessarily use those just for Easter as I don't really decorate for Easter per se, but I keep these up all through springtime and they're just part of my spring decor. So anything bunnies, eggs, birds, and flowers, you will find all throughout my home for spring. I also have an adorable little fountain that I keep here in my entryway. I don't have it on today uh, because it needs a new pump, but I love listening to the trickling, tranquil water when you first come into the entryway. And I purchased that fountain from At Home. I'm a big believer that your entryway should be displaying things that describe you and your home things of beauty, but I also think it should add things that make your home smell great, such as candles, and I also love the fountain effect and the trickling water, and I just think that makes my home inviting and peaceful for everyone who steps inside my door. I always like to tell everyone here on my channel to always pick a theme for your home for each season. And of course, my theme for spring this year is bunnies and blooms. So you're going to be seeing a lot of bunnies, you're going to be seeing a lot of floral arrangements, and you're going to see me use a lot of lavender as I love lavender in the spring and the summer months. Thank you. 
Again, this is just a view from the top of my staircase, looking down into the entryway. Next, we're going to be moving into my guest bathroom. This is a half bath, and I also love decorating it for all of the seasons. So here I've got some more of that lavender that I told you I love to decorate with. I purchased these faux stems from Hobby Lobby, and they look so real. I also purchased that planter, uh, which is a stone pot from Hobby Lobby, and this cute little uh, bunny soap. I purchased from Marshalls and it is lavender scented. These hand towels I also purchased from Marshalls and I love rolling them up and putting them on my floating shelves just because it gives the bathroom a spa like feel. And I purchased this cute little French bathtub from Amazon. And I like just putting bunnies and blooms in that as well. A lot of people also ask me about the brick wall that's here in my bathroom. And that is actually peel and stick wallpaper. And I will post a link for that uh, in the description box. And I have this wallpaper in our guest bathroom, in my laundry room, and also in my music room. And everyone always thinks that it's real. Um, and I just love it. It really adds a lot of accent and a lot of character to the walls in my home. Next, we're gonna be moving into my fireside room. And I always start on my fireplace mantle, decorating for each season. I'm just hanging some florals from my mantle as I love hanging florals. All of my florals I purchased from Hobby Lobby, again, because they always look so realistic. And then I'm just placing some of these cute little candle lit lamps on each side and they go in front of my little cathedral style uh, rustic looking windows. And then I'm putting some uh, porcelain bunnies along with some little nest of Easter eggs. And those bunnies and eggs I purchased from at home. And I love filling this cute little wicker basket with hydrangeas and florals for the spring season. I just love the look 
of flowers in a wicker basket that just looks like you just went out and picked them out of your flower gardens. I added purple and pink pastel blooms to my fireplace mantle. Not a whole lot, but just a little bit to bring some color into my living room uh, and to add those colors of spring. Again, you're going to see more lavender here on my coffee table and you're going to see another stone pot and again those items were purchased from Hobby Lobby and that cute little wooden tray I purchased from Facebook Marketplace and then the candle sniffer and the wick trimmer uh, I purchased from Amazon and I will try to link those below as well. Stone pots and stone decor are trending this year and I absolutely love the look of them and I've been using them for several years now even before they started trending just because I do my home in a French country theme and stone is a staple piece in a French home. My chunky little mini wreath and my flowers here on this side table are all from Hobby Lobby and this cute little basket that holds reading material is from at home I usually purchase all of my baskets from at home as they have a great selection In this copper wall shelf, it's actually called a wall mantle, I purchased from Facebook Marketplace along with those uh, wrought iron wall sconces. So people ask me about those quite a bit. And the mirror here on the wall to the left is a Hobby Lobby purchase. And of course my throw pillows are just simple and white to bring in some airiness and some brightness. And these are my linen pillows. I actually absolutely love these pillow covers and I love linen. They're actually good for you and uh, they're actually uh, the best kind of fabric uh, to increase happiness and energy and all of that good stuff. So you can do your own research on linen, but I'm trying to implement more linen into my home. And again, I will purchase these pillow covers um, or I will link these pillow covers into the description below. Next, we're moving into the laundry room. I purchased these cute little detergent and softener uh, bottles from Amazon. I'll also link those for you guys as well. They're not too big, they're not too bulky, um, and they're just perfect for uh, holding some of my laundry supplies and just giving my space that aesthetic look instead of keeping gain and Tide bottles laying around all over my laundry room. I purchased these glass canisters from at home and this cute little dryer sheet box is also from Amazon. I purchased these uh, laundry bins from at home and they hold all of our dirty laundry and I love that they are filled uh, with a linen wrap that I can take out and wash. I purchased these cute little grapevine baskets from Hobby Lobby. And I just filled them with some hydrangeas and flowing florals. And I'm going to be placing those in my shelf above the washer and dryer.
I love the wooden grapevine look and I love having it to hold flowers and it just reminds me of spring and summer. Again, you can see the peel and stick wallpaper that I use for the accent wall here in the laundry room uh, that I also used in my guest bathroom. And of course, the French laundry room sign and the candle holders on the wall are uh, Hobby Lobby purchases as well. And we're bringing in my spring theme of bunnies and blooms here into the laundry room as well. This darling little laundry basket was gifted to me when my firstborn son was born. He is 19 years old now, but I used to use it for all of his laundry when he was a baby. And so I really wanted to use that in the laundry room here as a decor piece. So I decided to hang it above my floating shelves and just drape some of that hanging jasmine leaf on it. Um, and it's so sentimental and it's just so beautiful here in the laundry room. So it was just a cute little creative idea that I had. And if you have any sentimental things like that uh, from your babies when they were little, those would be great to use as decor. I get asked about the rug a lot in my laundry room. That is a Target purchase. And then here I've got my linen uh, wraps for my laundry baskets. They're all washed and ready to go. And then I've also got my other baskets that hold laundry supplies. And again, all of these baskets are from at home. And then these wooden floating shelves, my husband made those for me. And he also made the one that goes behind the washer and dryer. You can find a full video on our laundry room renovations. Uh, also on my YouTube channel so you guys can go back and look that up and see how we turned our 1980s style laundry room into a modern looking uh, laundry room and I'm just so pleased with it I absolutely love coming in here and doing laundry now in our fully renovated laundry room And this door here goes out into our garage, so it's nice that our laundry room is right off the garage, especially when the kids are outside playing and getting dirty. Next, we're gonna be moving into the kitchen and decorating that for spring. My sister gifted me with these beautiful, fresh flowers for spring. She knows that I love pink and purple pastel colors for spring. And so I love having those in my kitchen. My mom always had fresh flowers in her kitchen when we were growing up. And I always try to have fresh flowers in my kitchen as well. 
This cute little candle is a purchase from Cracker Barrel. My sister is actually a waitress there and she brings me home lots of their goodies. So it's nice having her there at Cracker Barrel to bring me home some decor and especially their candles. I just love them so much. In the new farmhouse sink, of course, you guys saw in a previous video where my husband installed that. And then this cute little bowl and a spoon. I also have a whisk that goes with it with the bunnies on it. My sister purchased those for me as well from Marshalls. And then of course I always keep this wooden tray filled with sugar and flour and salt and pepper and olive oil and things that I just use for everyday cooking. Most of my cutting boards are purchased from Hobby Lobby and at home. So you'll see those all throughout my kitchen. I love decorating with uh, wooden accents and wooden decor. And that cute little teapot is an Amazon purchase and I'll try to link that as well. And then here in the corner, I got this cute little grapevine bunny that I purchased from at home. And I just filled it with eggs. And there's another one of those Cracker Barrel candles. They're soy wax. They smell so good. Um, and then just some eggs and carrots on display. Uh, just for cooking purposes and for spring. And then I love keeping this wicker picnic basket on top of my fridge. And I actually love using that for picnics as well. And then here is my coffee bar. And I usually try to keep it stocked with muffins or cookies or cupcakes. And I always have coffee in this coffee pot and have that going as well. So usually this is just our little beverage and snack bar area. And these cute little copper cups I purchased from at home and the cute little floral cups with a C on it for Coddle Cottage and even for my name Crystal, I purchased those uh, from Hobby Lobby when they were actually on sale. So I got a really good price on those. And because I love to bake and I love to cook, uh, I consider my kitchen a little bakery because I'm always baking something. So those little wooden bakery letters are from Hobby Lobby. Next, we're going to be moving along into my little French cafe, which is just the little breakfast nook that's off the kitchen. Um, we're still working on this area. We're fixing to implement some barn wood beams uh, and some stone and things like that to make it feel uh, more of like a French dining experience. I also have a tea bar set up here on my credenza. I have windows all around so it's great for letting in that spring sunshine. And I love tea. I love sweet tea. I love herbal teas. And so I found this cute little vintage teapot and I just love the tarnished look of it. Um, I did try cleaning it here a while back when I first bought it. But after that, I just kind of continued to let it just get old and faded and tarnished. And the more tarnished it gets, just the more I love it. It looks like a tea set that you would find in a French chateau or a castle. And in my little tiered tray, I like to keep um, decorated with these little faux muffins. And then of course, I have my little wooden tray that's filled with teacups and saucers and soup bowls and things just that you would have for tea time. I also have previous videos on my channel on how I create wooden trays 
and vignettes and centerpieces so you guys can check that out also uh, to get some ideas on how to decorate your wooden trays. And these beautiful wooden balances my husband built for me. Uh, these big windows let in a lot of sunlight and I did not want to cover them. And again, the balance just gives that French country look. Now we're going to be moving into the dining room. If you've been here at my channel for very long, you know that my husband built this big, beautiful table for us. It was actually the first table he's ever built, and it's so precious to us and to our family. And it's actually taken quite a big beating over the years uh, with six children, but we love it, and our, it fits our little family so perfectly. And this French Country Chandelier was a Facebook Marketplace find. And then, of course, I created another centerpiece using a wooden tray. And most of the items in this wooden tray I purchased from Hobby Lobby, um, except for those tulips there in the center. Those are from Target. But these bunnies, these eggs, and um, the greenery inside of there, as well as the candles, are all from Hobby Lobby. And most of the items here, including this cute little wall hanging, are purchased from Hobby Lobby. I absolutely love my china hutch. We found this old china hutch in an old rental house that my husband was restoring. And I brought it home and refurbished it. And now it holds all of my crystal that my mom gave me before she passed away. And I just love um, putting my crystal uh, glasses and then some of my dishes that I purchased from Goodwill. They're also on this china hutch as well. But I just love displaying different dishes and dishes that I like to collect here. Next, we're moving into the music room. And you guys know that this is one of my favorite rooms in my home. And actually, hobby rooms are really trending this year. I think they've been trending for a couple of years. But it's so nice to just have a space in your home that is designed for you to go and to relax, to be creative, um, and to do things that you enjoy doing. And that's why we're calling them hob hobby rooms. But this is my music room. I have my piano, my record player in here. Uh, I also keep my Bible and books that I study and things like that in here. And this is also where I work on my material for my YouTube channel as well. So again, it's just a place where I can come, where it's calming, it's quiet, and I can just be creative. Most of the furniture, well actually all of the furniture in this room is secondhand Facebook Marketplace finds. So the couch, the piano, uh, the mantle, the shelf, even my coffee tables and end tables. 
uh, and the record player as well. They were all purchased from Facebook Marketplace and I just restored them and repainted them and uh, they're absolutely beautiful in here. I love finding old stuff that other people are getting rid of and just making it my own. And again, you can see this stone peel and stick wallpaper uh, here on this wall that I'm using as an accent wall where my piano and record player are. And those beautiful arched wooden mirrors are an Amazon purchase and I will link those for you guys as well. I always get asked about those. These peonies are also from Amazon and I just found this cute little French looking pot and placed those faux peonies in there. And then of course this cute little uh, tray, I created that out of a photo frame and then I just stenciled it with uh, some French lettering. And I also have a video on how I did this in some of my previous videos, if you guys would like to go back and check that out. So um, I think it's called uh, creating French centerpieces or something like that. So you guys can see how I did that as well. And this cute little vintage Victorian telephone is also a Facebook Marketplace find. And then, of course, my cute little spring pillows with the bumblebees. I absolutely love bumblebees uh, for the spring and summer months. Those are also from Amazon, and I'll link those below as well. And this cute little French chair is also a Facebook Marketplace find. I love it. It's just so beautiful. And I actually use it for props um, when I'm taking photos of my children and things like that. It's just the cutest little chair to use uh, for photos. And then this is just a little shelf here in my music room where I keep some family photos displayed um, and just some uh, scriptures and things like that. So my music room is also filled with scriptures and Bible verses. And again, that just brings happiness and calmness to me. And I love having myself surrounded uh, with God's word. Well, friends, that about wraps it up for this video. I'm so glad you decided to join me today and to watch this video. And I hope that you were inspired and got some more ideas for spring decor in your own home. For behold, the winter is past. The rain is over and gone. The flowers appear on the earth. The time of singing has come and the voice of the turtle dove can be heard in the land.